the entire world was about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. The first trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home has been released. Well, officially this time. And it confirms the movie is drawing from one of the most controversial Spider-Man comics ever published to explain how Peter Parker's secret identity could be restored following the events of Far From Home. The plan involves Doctor Strange and the multiverse and promises some familiar but not necessarily friendly faces will appear to stir things up. Hello, Peter. Full spoilers from the comics are incoming. Multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. To what do I owe the pleasure? The trailer reveals Tom Holland's Peter Parker seeks out the help of Benedict Cumberbatch's Master of the Mystic Arts in order to make everyone forget he's Spider-Man. The exposure of the wall crawler's secret identity by Mysterio at the end of Far From Home has put Peter's loved ones MJ, Aunt May, and Ned in hot water too. It will take some supreme sorcery to make the whole world forget he is Spider-Man. Luckily, Pete knows a guy. Peter sees Strange as the perfect solution to all his woes, a wizard who can wave a hand and make the world forget Spider-Man's secret. Strange apparently doesn't necessarily feel the same way, cautioning Peter, Be careful what you wish for, Parker. What just happened? Let's explore the evidence that Spider-Man No Way Home is drawing its inspiration from Marvel Comics' notorious One More Day storyline, and why Doctor Strange is the key to solving Spidey's identity crisis. First, we have to go back to the comic book version of Civil War, where Peter willingly reveals his secret identity to the world as a sign of support for the Superhuman Registration Act. However, he's forced to become an underground fugitive after rebelling against Iron Man and the SHRA. His situation quickly grows desperate after Aunt May is shot by an assassin hired by Kingpin. Ultimately, Peter and MJ are forced to make a literal deal with the devil, Mephisto, sacrificing their marriage in exchange for May's life, and turning to a combination of science and magic to collectively make the world forget Spider-Man's identity. But is that actually what's going to happen in No Way Home? We have our doubts especially since Peter's situation in the MCU is quite a bit different. For starters, Peter isn't married in the MCU, and it's important to remember the MCU Peter is hardly the blue-collar nobody he is in the comics. As far as the movies have shown, he's still a duly registered hero in compliance with the Sokovia Accords. He has the backing of the Avengers and other connected people like Happy Hogan and Nick Fury. Yes, there's the pesky issue of Mysterio framing Spider-Man for murder, but as the trailer shows, it appears Peter didn't end up alone and on the lam following Far From Home. Peter theoretically has the resources to protect his family and work to clear his name. This has even fueled speculation No Way Home will reintroduce Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock to the MCU, with the law firm Nelson and Murdoch defending Peter in court. To be clear, we highly doubt Marvel Studios and Sony have made a direct adaptation of One More Day. The original story was highly controversial and still tends to inspire a fair amount of vitriol online all these years later. We don't necessarily see Mephisto factoring into the plot of Spider-Man No Way Home, especially after he was a no-show in WandaVision, and with so many other villains already poised to appear in the film. Hello, Peter. The trailer ends with the return of Alfred Molina's Dr. Octopus. Rumors have also suggested both Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield will reprise their respective Spider-Man roles for No Way Home, along with the likes of Jamie Foxx's Electro and Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin. With the trailer establishing multiverse elements, might Peter become lost in the Marvel multiverse, struggling to find his way home and temporarily teaming up with his counterparts from other worlds? That's certainly one way to highlight the comic's all-important theme of power and responsibility, and gives the title of No Way Home added meaning. We could easily see No Way Home boiling down to one basic conflict. Will Peter choose to flee his world and recover his old life in a new one, or does he accept the responsibility he has to protect his own world no matter the personal cost? And if the multiverse is the key to restoring Peter's identity, what does all this mean for Strange's future in the MCU? We know Spider-Man No Way Home plays into the events of 2022's Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. If Strange is arrogant enough to think he can manipulate time and space, not just to save all existence, but to help out individual heroes, protecting your reality. Douchebag. That could have dire consequences for the larger MCU. As we saw in Avengers Infinity War, Strange was able to explore millions of possible timelines in the span of a few minutes, scanning the multiverse for the one reality where Earth's heroes eventually triumph over Thanos. Could Strange attempt something similar here? Will he scan for a universe where Peter's identity was never leaked and merge that reality with the MCU? If there's one consistent theme when it comes to magic in the MCU, it's that spells always carry a cost. If Strange finds an alternate universe where Spider-Man's identity is still secret, what's the cost of altering his reality? Will the two worlds become one? Merging multiple worlds into one inevitably results in some rough edges and cosmic 
cosmic mistakes. Perhaps helping Spider-Man is exactly what further unlocks the door to the multiverse of madness, as much as Wanda's possession of the Darkhold or Sylvie's shattering of the sacred timeline did. In that case, Doctor Strange, not Spider-Man, would be the real loser in this One More Day inspired conflict. What did you think of the new trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home? What are your theories about how the magic and multiverse of it all will play out? Let us know in the comments, and for all things MCU and Spider-Man, keep it locked on IGN. That feels weird, but I'll allow it.